Hey everyone, and welcome to my What Are You Eating Today? This was my last morning in Barry, so Leah pulled out all the stops and brought in the sugar donuts we got from Barry Island. Becky Jones eating sugar donuts for breakfast first thing in the morning? I mean, what is less accurate than that? That is actually completely within lore for Becky Jones. It probably doesn't feel good to the stomach though. I don't know if you guys have ever had a really, really heavy, heavy, heavy breakfast. And then for the rest of the day, you're just perpetually fucking your own mouth because it's so goddamn dense in your stomach. You just kind of feel weighed down. You feel really, really, really delayed on whatever you're doing. So when I see Becky eating these meals, I'm always thinking, I know you don't feel good after body slamming one, two, three, four, five, six, seven donuts in your mouth. An odd number to top it off. That's kind of crazy as hell. You couldn't even make it eight or six. That would have been better in my opinion because odd, odd values of things are kind of, they, they kind of piss me off a little bit. But absolutely accurate to the Becky Jones lore. Um, if you guys don't know, Becky Jones has been on the go, literally. I know that a lot of people sit there and they make that meme because of the song or whatever. No, but she's actually been on the go. She's actually been traveling all across the lands of the UK, meeting up with Corey, meeting up with Sherry Ann, meeting up with Leah. They're having fun. They're actually communicating with each other. They're going on dates. I don't know, bro. It's crazy. This is a whole new side, a whole new world. This is a side of Becky we've never seen before. She's actually painting with the, the colors of the wind as of recently and I think I kind of love it I think it's great I think Becky's finally starting to come into her own I mean it's a little bit crazy in terms of the diet that she's been been eating and it's not just her it's also Corey it's also Leah these people have been sitting there and they've been going I want to lose weight I want to get into a better diet but over the last few weeks because they've been communicating and hanging out with each other everything they eat has been ridiculously high in calories and Obviously, if you're eating like this all the time, I mean, before they went on the cruise, Corey and Leah were pretty consistent. They were actually doing, going on these runs um, every week, every once, every once every week or so, they were going on these runs, which is better than nothing. And even Becky was doing her little exercises once a week, but she has completely, completely voided those out. I haven't, I haven't seen her do one of these, and we keep up with her on this channel. If you guys don't watch the live streams, make sure you watch the live streams, okay? We are communicating. We're, we're, we're keeping up to date with the Becky Jones lore. Uh, she hasn't done her workout things in like two or three weeks at this point. And it's really sad because she was only doing them once a week to begin with. And now, sure, you could say, David, that's better than nothing. I guess. I guess, bro. That's, you're absolutely right. It is better than nothing. But simultaneously, that's almost nothing. You're doing one workout that's like 35 minutes. You're burning 400 calories. And then you body slam seven donuts. Seven donuts. Sugar donuts to top it off. And you're dipping them in Nutella. You think that's anything You think it's anything other than just going to dissuade you from ever trying to lose weight ever again because you do a 35-minute workout, you feel terrible at the end of it, and then right after that, you body slam the seven donuts, you realize you gained weight? You're going to think it's, it, oh, the cardio's not working for me. I'm just not the type of person that works out. Nah, it's because you ate the donuts. That's the reason. I always feel disappointment, too, when I see these people doing that. With a Nutella dip and a Kinder Bueno, Ugh. how could I refuse? Of course, Becky. So I tucked in. I had some of the Kinder Bueno dip Ooh. first, and honestly, damn, them knuckles is feeling some type of way. Indented knuckles always make me feel kind of a little sick to my stomach, a little bit. I don't know if I, I don't know how I feel about it. Like I prefer to have knuckles that protrude as a as opposed to indent. Personally speaking, these are the nicest donuts. It's kind of like belly buttons, right? You know when you meet somebody for the first time and that person goes, hey, dude, let's do a jello shot off of your belly button. And then that person takes up their shirt and it's an Audi and you're like, oh, <laughs> What the fuck am I supposed to, am I supposed to suck on it? Are you supposed to take the jello shot and literally place it on there like a, shug, a, sh, a shish kebab and then just like suck on the belly button? Just... Is that what you're supposed to do? That's uncomfortable. I'm not sucking on somebody's belly button. And uh, man or woman, I don't care what anybody says. I mean, obviously, I would only be doing this to women, obviously. Uh, not to let anybody think that I would ever do do jello shots on men. But you know what I'm saying? Can you imagine somebody saying jello shots and you're that one person that has an Audi and you're just like looking around, just thinking like, I hope nobody asks me to do the jello shot because my belly button is three inches long. That would be really weird, right? My belly button, personally, indents. I have like a good, I don't know, I would say probably like i would say this much like this much this right here can you guys see that right there that's like, how much is that like half an inch or something like that of deep deep deepening belly button anyway i don't even know what we're talking about i've ever tasted and i couldn't leave barry without trying this famous deli where everyone who works in it is still shaking ass in the deli so lovely i tried a spicy sweet though they didn't tell me it was spicy 
and I also tried some charcoal. Oh my god, it's spicy! I can't believe it! Or cheese, which surprisingly was very delicious. I thought it was going to taste burnt. <laughs> Then I got this chicken tikka mint jelly. Oh, 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 Becky, calm down. There are children watching these videos. Cause slow your roll a little bit, man. What are we doing right now with this? Listen, I know that phallic shaped things are always a little suspect whenever you put them in your mouth. There's a reason why when dudes eat bananas, they always look around to ensure that there's nobody else looking at them while they indulge in the banana. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with putting bananas in your mouth, okay? Now granted, if by banana, if you're talking about a guy named banana, probably a little gay. If you're putting a man named banana in your mouth, that's gay. Unless you're a woman. In that case, it's probably heterosexual. But even still, the point I'm making is putting things in your mouth that are phallic shaped is always going to be a little bit suspect. And when I see Becky Jones, when I see Becky Jones putting that shit inside of her mouth like that, I mean, I don't know. I'm just saying, dude, somebody somewhere might see that and might have some blood circulate from not their head. That's all I'm gonna say. Mayo, Whoa. Whoa. Oh, wow. Who the fuck side bites a, a, a sub? I've never seen somebody do that shit before. Now a 10. This deli was That's on. a 10 out of 10? The cheese wasn't even melted. Slate, my favorite. The meat Ugh. 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 Why does it look like that? It's wet. It's moist. It's got some kind of residue on the front. Ugh. It's, it's so watery too. Man. What is that? Is that, what is that? Is that mayonnaise? I got a kebab at the end of the night. We got some Donna meat and chips. But what's, what's the white shit on there? That's gotta be mayonnaise, right? Doesn't that ferment the mayonnaise if it's really, really hot? Aren't you not supposed to put like really, really cold mayonnaise on hot stuff because that like fondles it a little bit? Does that like, doesn't that marinate it slightly? Doesn't that make your mouth kind of tingle when you eat it? Like you might wake up with like shrooms, you know what I'm talking about? You start like seeing shit because uh, the mayonnaise has been fermented on the hot, whatever that is. I call it newspaper. I don't know why so many people like the donna, the donna meat. Oh my God, guys. Oh my god, guys, I love Donna meat. It's so amazing, especially when you have it on rolls. I don't know why you guys love that shit so much. I've never had it personally. It looks like wet newspaper. It doesn't look really good at all. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Lots I mean, it does have french fries in it, so I don't know. French fries are always good, I suppose. Garlic mayo. I didn't have the cheese. But I've honestly... Garlic mayo, yeah. Doesn't look very healthy, Becky. Kind of. Why is your... You know what? I've, I've always come to this assumption with Becky. I, I think her her head is big, right? She's come out and she said that. She's, she has said out that, that her head is quite big. And I'm always surprised that her mouth isn't. Her mouth can almost never fit the food in there properly. Like whenever she puts it in, she's always getting it caught up on the sides or maybe her teeth are kind of like getting in the way when she's trying to put the food in there. And I always think, how does somebody with such a big head have such a tiny little mouth? How do you have every single time when you swallow in food, when you're sitting here satisfying your lips all the time, it always gets stuck every single time. And it's without failure too. I don't know if whatever she's eating is just incredibly large or if her mouth is just incredibly small. But look what I'm talking Donna about. Meat and chips with lots Smell of this up, mayo. right? I see what I'm talking about, dude. Pick up what I'm putting down. You know what I'm saying, dude? Have the Watch this shit. Bye. You see what I'm saying? Like, she tries to put it in, and she just struggles so hard. And then... I honestly love all Like, my you see what I'm saying, dude? Like, her mouth just gotta be small, right? She just gotta have a really small mouth. It doesn't look that small on surface, but it... I guess it is. Food places I've been to. You, you see what I'm saying? Like, she puts it in her mouth, and it gets caught up on the side, and then she gotta, like... She gotta, like, reopen the mouth a little bit. She ends up looking like Stallone a little bit. I've been in Wales and I can't wait to go Damn, back. Damn, Becky, you gotta calm the fuck <laughs> You gotta calm down just a little bit, Becky, okay? The way you do these mouth maneuvers, the way you have your lips formatting around the food, it's it's a tad bit diabolical. It's a tad bit crazy, okay? Uh, maybe we reduce it by like 50%, 25%, whatever. Uh, just reduce it slightly. You don't need to have all of it in your mouth. You could take your time. We all enjoy watching you eat regardless of how much you eat. Hi, everyone. So this morning I went for breakfast after staying at Lady Hayes Glamping Pods. This is called the Pod Kitchen and it's had a refurb. 
It's so lovely in here. No one. And no the, one else in there. Just Becky Jones. Luna is absolutely amazing. I don't like it when they just have random fake vines in the wall. It looks like Poison Ivy squirted in there. I don't... It's 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 fine. I understand why people so many people have it nowadays. Especially whenever you're talking to somebody. For, like, any, any Gen Zer nowadays, for some reason. They all have, like, these ceiling lights that have strip LEDs. Or they have, like, the, the leaves hanging from the from the wall. They probably bought off Sheen or whatever for, like, 444. Uh, by the way, do you feel good about that? Do you feel good about the fact that the Uyghur Muslims had to put together those those fake vines for you? Do you feel good about that? Well, you should because you, you didn't spend that much money on it. I know there are a lot of people out there that think that you're a bad person for buying into capitalism or whatever the hell. Those people can suck it, okay? I'm sick of people making you feel bad for buying stuff in America. What am I supposed to do, okay? I'm sorry. That I went to the Chinese dollar store and I bought a luggage container for $20 when at any other store it could have bought it for $40 or $50. Oh, David, buy locally because you know it's going to be, even though it's more expensive, you're supporting the local business. I don't, bro, what are you talking about, bro? I'm not spending double or triple the price for something because it's, it's, it's sourced locally. What are you talking about, bro? Now, no, I'm buying that shit because it was made from the Uyghur Muslim's hands. I know that it was bad, but guess what? What do you want me to do, bro? I have mouths to feed, my own mouth. I gotta feed my own mouth. Anyway, I don't even know what we're talking about. Herb, it's so lovely in here. Yeah, I don't like the fake leaves. It's not cool, I don't like it. There's like random oysters on it too, I don't like it too. And it looks like when you play an old school video game from like 2004, and they only had like one texture for the floor, so they just copy and pasted that same texture like a million times across the mat, but you don't really notice it until you really look back and then you see the floor and it's just like, the same texture over and over and over again. The owner is absolutely amazing. I'm loving the re- Oh my god, guys, somebody actually came in and tried to buy something. This is insane. Uh, Hurry up, give them the menu. Oh, that menu is terrible, bro. Jesus, bro, how many pages is that menu, bro? God damn, I now I know why so many people don't want to go in there. Look, when it comes to menus, short and sweet. Not many people, especially if you're going in for a breakfast, bro, we don't need this many pages. What is this, like 50 pages, bro? I gotta I gotta read like a novel to really even understand what your your your, your entire menu's all about. I'm walking out. I don't all I wanna know, can you cook eggs? Can you cook sausage? Can you cook bacon? And can there be some toast? That's all I wanna know. That's it. Why you got this much pages? So for breakfast, I went for basically a full English without the bacon, without the black pudding. But I got two lots of eggs, so I had to get scrambled. I don't know how I feel about the the random mushroom just massive and big next to beans. I don't know why you guys love the beans so much. And by the way, I hope, I hope that tomato is cooked and not just probably been left out all night. Old egg, and I'm so glad that I did because it was absolutely Two amazing. different types of eggs there. Had and some toast right there to some whatever the fuck that shit is right on the left. Mushrooms on it. It had a tomato, sausages, and beans. And of course, got gotta some go to, sourdough. Gotta go to, damn, your fingers is kind of inflated as fuck, but that's kind of insane. And some normal toast as well. Yeah, them fingers is feeling it, Mr. Krabs. God damn, them things is big. Because I am such a toast person. <laughs> Let me know what your favorite thing is on a breakfast. But I had such a lovely What is my favorite thing on a breakfast? What are you talking about? My mouth? I, what do you mean on, on a breakfast? What are you talking about? In my mouth? I was staying at Lady Hayes. It was amazing. It was so cozy and I just absolutely love it here. Love it. It's the perfect way to just get away from the outside world. I would be so concerned that there was nobody else in there. There's a few bodegas where I'm from and you walk in there and you go look around. You're like, yo, am I the only person that's been here all day? How come whenever I walk in this store... There's never anybody in here. And how come you guys have been operating here for like 10 plus years and I never see anybody coming in here? Are you guys selling drugs? Are you guys finazzling people? Hmm? Is this a grandiose illusion? And in the back, there's like dudes playing poker or something like that. What's going on here, bro? What's what's happening? And the lady behind the counter doesn't like me for some reason. I walk in and then she goes, she goes, sorry, they, we don't have men products here. What do you mean you don't have men products here? I see literal plates and forks right there. Do you not think men are capable of buying plates and forks and dish soap? What are you talking about, dude? Just because I'm a dude doesn't mean I can't buy forks. That's disrespectful, man. Okay? So I never came back. I never went back there, bro. Because if you're going to tell me there's nothing in here for men, suck me off. I'm not coming in there then. What the fuck you talking about? You really going to sit here and tell me there's nothing in here for me? Are you crazy? I was literally looking at some do-rags. That's for men. Well, I guess some women could wear that, but you know what I'm talking about. Just chill. It was such a lovely evening. 
I don't like it. I don't like just chilling personally and eating in a restaurant. I want to get out of there. I want to eat the food and run away. I don't want to be sitting in the restaurant. I'm, like, I'm in a compromised position. People are looking at me through the window. I know that somebody's plotting against me. I got to run. I got to get out of there, dude. So personally, I'm eating my shit as fast as possible. I'm a very expedited eater. So I love that food tastes good in my mouth personally, but uh, I, I could really do without it if I didn't have the option to eat it and I didn't suffer any of the consequences. So I'm just eating as fast as I can just to get out of there. It was just nice to have this breakfast before heading home. Really enjoyed it, but I hope you're all okay and having a great week so far. I don't know how you can make eggs taste better. Like, aren't you just frying them up and throwing some green stuff on it? Like, I guess a little bit of salt and pepper. It's nearly the weekend for everyone. Oh, and a Coca-Cola, of course. Uh, that's kind of diabolical. Eating a breakfast, this is the two things you got to drink for breakfast every morning, okay? Water, obviously. You got to have the water. And uh, a cup of coffee. That's it. That's all there is. Um, And you know what? Don't feel like you're weird. If you got two cups of next to you, who the fuck gives a fuck, dude? If you're ordering the two things, why does it matter? I got, I'm always getting water because I want to be hydrated. I want to ensure that my body has got the proper nutritional um, device in order to make sure that I can be aerobic and feel the hydration across my body. And uh, also, coffee because it's got caffeine and I'm perpetually addicted to caffeine probably because I like pooping in the morning. And also because I like the flavor of the coffee. I know a lot of people sit there and think coffee doesn't taste good. It doesn't. But then again, alcohol doesn't taste good. When you suck dick, it doesn't taste good either. Don't act like you don't enjoy doing that either. Don't sit there. I've never met a dude in my life that told me he liked the taste of vagina. I've never met a dude ever. Every time I talk to a guy and they go, hey bro, do you like tasting your girlfriend's vagina? He goes, mm, it tastes like a nickel, but I think it's hot when my mouth touches it. So you know, it's all good, but you know, when you eat something or you drink something or whatever, sometimes it's not about what it tastes like. Sometimes it's about what it gives to you later on. One who gets a little break. And maybe you receive something after you help out your girlfriend. That's what I'm saying. But I hope you're all well and I love you all. Bye. Love you too, Everyone, Becky. Everyone, and welcome to my what I eat in a day. Such a lovely person. So for my dinner, I had the. That's diabolical, bro. Come on, man. Snack pack for breakfast, man. I guess it says some protein on the side right there, but that doesn't really even mean anything at all, right? Just because it says protein on the side there doesn't mean that it actually has a lot of protein. Go Barbecue off, queen. snack attack wraps. Slight queen edges. It's surprisingly way smaller than I thought. So these are chicken nuggets. Oh, Becky. Chicken in them and some barbecue sauce. I then had some- You could have easily got this at the, the corner store for like 50 cents off, man. What are you talking chicken about? Chicken cocktail sausages as well. I thought this was an elite dinner. I used to love these barbecues. The problem I see oftentimes with people that are trying to lose weight is that they try to supplement their foods with like snack packs or like candy bars or like protein bars. That's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to maximize the amount of food. So get as much food as you can, but make sure it's not dense. It doesn't have a lot of calories in it. So that way when you're eating it, it fills you up and you're feeling like, oh my God. God, my mouth is really feeling it right now. Oh, my stomach is filled up. And then you look at the, you look at your phone, right? My fitness pal or whatever the fuck you're using. And then you go, let me just calculate how much. I oh my God, only 600 calories for all that food? I'm feeling good. And you're gonna feel light afterwards. You're gonna feel like you can take on the day. You're gonna feel like you can dance, like you're Kevin Bacon. You're gonna just feel better about yourself. But for somebody like Becky and other people, for some reason, they like to focus on the food supplements. So like protein bars and whatever the fuck that slop ass shit was. Attacks and a four, you know what? There's no age limit on them, so why not? I guess. I mean, is that really how we... Is that really how we're gonna deduce that? Just because it has no age limit doesn't mean you're supposed to be eating that shit, right? Am I wrong? Nah, go ahead, Becky. Go ahead and eat those kids' meals. Absolutely. I don't know. Whatever you want. I know a friend that literally eats like five of those kid cuisines in one meal. Like he'll literally just microwave them all. Or I'll get like eight or nine Lunchables and he'll just eat them all in one day. That's crazy as fuck, by the way. I literally remember one time I was with this dude and he was like, bro, uh, we need to stop so I can eat. So he pulled over to the side of the road. And I'm not even joking. Which he had a bag in his like underneath his seat. He went back there, pulled out four box, four boxes of Lunchables, and it was all the same one too. It was the pizza one, and he just started eating them raw, raw, crazy as fuck. One of them he didn't even make up the pizza. He just took them and just started eating them straight out and eating the thing. And then he was like, uh, "All right, I'm good, bro. We could go now, bro. I'm good. I'm good now, bro." Ooh. Oh, shit. And then we would just drive off. Man, that's some disrespectful ass shit to see this man eat the fucking four Lunchables, dude. Oh, 
man, the Lunchables have never really even been good, to be honest. Like, even when you were a kid and your parents bought you a Lunchable and you pulled up to, you, you guys went on a field trip or whatever and you pulled out that Lunchable, everybody thought you was cool, but then you saw the other kids eating actual food and then you were just looking at those kids like, how come I don't feel full? Because it's not supposed to, it's not supposed to satiate you. This is just a filler food that's supposed to make you look cool because you see the commercials and things like that, which they're not supposed to advertise to children anymore. And then you look upon yourself, you're thinking you're so fucking cool because you got a cool sticker that you can lick on the side and go like this and then you know rub it in you get like a half-baked sticker on you like hey guys check it out clifford clifford yep the big one the big red dog that's right hey what what kind of what kind of sticker did you get hey what kind of tattoo did you get and when your mom made you that sandwich with doritos and a capri sun and a donut and and a fruit snack and why am i hungry that's what you're feeling because it doesn't matter that you got the little tattoo that's irrelevant love dom then I found these new Kit Kats. They're like double chocolate ones. I haven't seen these ones before. Only Becky can be happy about a double chocolate chip Kit, a Kit Kat. But it was honestly so yummy. Cool. Double chocolate. You can't go wrong, can you? Well, <laughs> then a little. I mean, there might be a little bit wrong with that. Just a little bit. A bit later on, I made some tea and I made a creamy garlic chicken parmesan pasta. I don't like Kit Kats when they're not like horizontally declined i don't like that I, I i think if you're having a solid kick cack that defeats the purpose wow that was a mouthful <laughs> whoa oh ho, ho. becky calm down Lee, this was so yummy becky it can cook food i'll give her that becky if she cooks she can cook food man she actually throws down in the kitchen i'm gonna keep it a bug with you bro if i was in the kitchen with becky and she's throwing down i'm throwing it back it was creamy but you could have whoa. added a little bit more creamier whoa. but it was still very tasty and i had some garlic bread too then after that oh wow well, what are you expecting? <laughs> what are you expecting? What did you think? You thought Becky was going to actually cook herself some good-ass nutritional food and not eat some chocolate cake right after that? My bad. Sorry, not chocolate cake. Marshmallow brownie cake with a giant cup of presumably whole milk. Why the fuck not, dude? <laughs> fuck it. I had a glass of milk and my chocolate brownie. That's more than a glass, Becky. That shit is big as fuck. That was a glass and a half. Jesus, man. Only that I got from Morrison's. If you haven't tasted mouth is so small. these chocolate brownies, they are one of my favorites. Oof. Got marshmallows yeah. on top and yeah, just the ultimate comfort food. But you, that you shouldn't be eating comfort food. You don't need it. Why do you always have that comfort food? You don't need that shit. What you ate before was GG for the day. That was good enough for you. Good enough, uh, uh, good enough, uh, uh. You didn't need to eat this chocolate brownie. You was good. You was high. You were satiated. You had your fill. Why did you need more? You didn't need this shit, Becky. Why do you always find yourself at the end of the day going, oh, I know I just ate that good ass nutritional food that was good for my mouth and good for my stomach, but a brownie in my mouth will really be good. Oh, if I just had a straight up marshmallow brownie imbued with my throat, I would just feel feels so good uh, i need that shit why you gotta be like that why you gotta be like that you don't need it trust me becky you got it you you go girl you slight queen edge you don't need that that was everything and i hope you all had a great that's day. a lot though that's a lot that was a lot becky that was more than everything hey love you all love you too love you too hey, night. stop stop so we went with kebab i know i've had a lot of takeaways a lot of kebabs lately yeah 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 you you have done that you have eaten a lot of takeaways this has been a record-setting trend for you becky i mean over the last two months it's kind of been going insane ever since you said you were going to get that weight loss surgery it seems like you've been doing everything in your power to make it seem like that shit was never an option to begin with it's actually super disrespectful that you would ever say that you're going to get that weight loss surgery and eat the way that you do <laughs> kind of crazy but anyway go on let's see the kebab let's see the garlic bread which necessarily is just pizza you're just eating pizza sauceless pizza but go on but i can't i well i can't bring my air fryer but i just choose not. that's crazy as fuck to bring an air fryer with you but i mean i guess the, do these places not have microwaves do these places not have like sandwich meat can you not make like a foods on to go because <sighs> <laughs> who wants to cook when they're having fun i guess uh maybe responsible people when you show up and you're at that you're at the restaurant with your friends or your boys or whatever and they're going yeah let me get the double cheeseburger let me get the curly fry yeah let me get in yeah, the other let me get a lasagna let me get the deep dish pizza and you just sit there and go let me get hold up pull up the tupperware 
pop it on a table, pop it open, you start eating your Tupperware, they're looking at you like this. What the fuck are you doing? Being responsible. I'm being responsible, taking my health into account, okay? I got agency. Just because you, you big back, big belly bitches want to sit there and eat your lasagna and your double crust pizzas, that's fine. But guess what? I'm not. <laughs> I made this shit four days ago and I'm eating it. It's in my mouth right now and it's feeling good. It's feeling tasty. Because guess what? After I'm done eating this shit, I'm good. I'm GG for the rest of the day. You, on the other hand, I know you guys are going to be like rocks slumped to the bottom of the ocean. Because you motherfuckers is going to be heavy as fuck afterwards. Same thing. Same thing there. Um, just because you go on a vacation don't mean you can't be a little bit productive about what you're eating. Uh, I understand what Becky is saying. Kind of like being a musician on tour and you cheat on your wife every night. Why wouldn't I cheat on my wife? I got all these groupies. They all want to have sex with me. What are you doing? I'd, it'd be crazy if I didn't do that, right? What are you talking about? What's well, not cheating? I'm on tour. It's the same thing here, right? It's the same thing, I guess. So, first of all, let me show you what we've got here. Some cheesy chips. So that. Of course, of course. Cheesy chips. Always the cheesy chips. Uh, French fries, man, are her downfall. I don't know if I've ever seen somebody eat more French fries than Becky Jones. I'm not even joking either. Becky Jones eats more French fries than I've ever seen anybody else in my entire life. I think in my entire existence, Becky Jones probably has me beat by three times the amount of French. No, let me stop. Bro, me too. I don't even eat French fries very often. I maybe eat French fries once or twice a week. Becky Jones seems like she eats French fries at least once a day. So if I'm being honest, she probably eats French fries four or five times more than I've ever eaten in my entire life. Oh my God, even saying that is crazy, dude. The potato famine, if we ever get one, her fault. Then we have... I think this is mine as well. Sloppy ass fucking paper. Oh, look at that. Some chicken? You got some hot chicken? Uh, is that chicken? What is that? Chicken kebab. Okay, and you got a non, a non, or whatever you guys call that over there. Which is really good. I guess. More chips in there. Damn, more french fries? Burger. Why, 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 why? Did you, do we not just see that? Did we, did we not just see? By the way, back hold up now, hold up. That burger looked kind of dehydrated. That burger looked like it had no cheese on that shit. Now, I understand. You always say, I don't like cheese. I always hear that. I don't like cheese. Oh, I hate it. I don't like cheese. Oh, my God. Cheese is so gross. I don't like it. I just saw you with the cheesy french fries. So, if you're going to have the cheesy french fries and then not have the cheese on the burger, which everybody knows, if you're going to have a burger, what the fuck are you doing if you're not putting cheese on that? But you put cheese on the french fries? What? Am I missing something? That doesn't make any sense to me. So you got to choose one or the other, bro. If I'm being honest, you should have had at least some cheese on that burger. That's crazy as hell. But how the fuck you going to sit there with the cheesy french fries? Big. How you going to sit there with the chicken tikka? Big. Big as fuck, by the way. And it had a little naan on the side. Not even little either. And you got a burger too? In what world is the burger the side? Pizza. Damn, pizza too? God, this not even cheesy? Not even, the, not even the garlic bread like you try to cheat. Damn, bro. You big as fuck. Cheese, Pete. You got pizza and a burger and a chicken tikka and you got the french fries. God damn. Becky. And a garlic bread. Oh my God. Becky. You kind of going a little bit crazy tonight. You just don't give a fuck about yourself at all. You haven't been thinking about what this is going to do to your mouth. So let's talk in. The guys, they actually gave me a pot of garlic mayo as well. You didn't need that. Why'd they give you that shit? Was that the drink? why you get the garlic mayo? That shit is like 700 calories. Oh, Becky. 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 You need to calm the fuck all the way down. What you talking about? You didn't think that was enough? You got to dip that shit in some garlic mayo too? Oh. Mm. Yeah, Chicken kebab. Also, we've got Happy Girl all around because love Happy Girl more. You watching Happy Gilmore too? I mean, whatever. Go ahead, watch. I like Adam Sandler. He's cool. That's tasty. I, I guess. Haven't got anything too exciting, but this is very. What you mean you didn't get anything too exciting? You ordered like a quarter of the menu. What do you? Is that not exciting for you? That's. It, it, think about the. Think about the circumstance. She's literally eating this shit so often that she's just talking about something. Yeah, you know, it's not that much. I mean, it's just normal for me, I guess. Like, <laughs> it's just some regular, some light. You guys know what it is. Nothing special. A pizza, cheese pizza, cheesy garlic bread, pizza, chicken kebab, big, big, big burger, big fries, cheese on the fries, big garlic mayo. Mmm.
Nothing special, though. Nothing special. Nothing special at all. What you talking about? It ain't much. Okay, steak. Love it in here. Already been in the hot tub. Got a small kit to do in a bit. And just in a hot tub? Hold up now. What you about to do in the hot tub, Becky? Let me know about that real quick. Have a nice, cozy, chill night. Where's my I love you? Brad. Oh, not done yet. Mm. What do I love you? Okay? Hi, everyone. Whoa, whoa. I didn't get a I love you. There was no I love you at the end of that, Becky. You got to calm the fuck down. You got to give me some I love yous. That's all I'm trying to say. Good, Good morning. Good morning. Okay. So I got these Nutella croissants from Why? Martin's. Why? They're frozen, and I'm going to put them in the air fryer well, to have why? some breakfast with. So let's get these in the air fryer because they take at least 15 minutes. Well, why you need that? Why you, why you saw that and you thought you was going to glaze your mouth with it? <laughs> you didn't need that shit. You could have just had regular eggs. Boil up some eggs real quick. <sighs> you could have had some toast. You could have had a bagel. You could have had anything. Instead, you want to have Nutella? Nutella croissants, Becky? Uh, I'll show you what they look like. I, I did their croissants. I know what they look like. I've been around black guys that don't wear Vaseline on their lips. I know what croissants look like. Two in the air fryer, but they're like that. That shit's big as fuck! Damn, that shit's way bigger than I thought. I thought they were gonna be like half the size, Becky! Two? Excited to see what they're like, but they were five pounds for four, which is a little bit expensive. But it don't matter if my mouth is being pleased, right? Five bills, whatever. Looking at the nice and it's proper Nutella, so let's see. Proper Nutella? I'm gonna make a cup of tea as well in here because I hate, I hate it. I hate it when Becky makes tea. She always leaves a bag in for like one second. Go to the garage from a car. But I went to watch Smile 2 last night. Oh, yeah, people have been talking about this movie. What's up with this movie? Is it is it good? I didn't even see the first one. I didn't even know there was a Smile 1. What even is this movie? Somebody let me know down below. Is it good? I'm not giving anything away other than I spent most of the time under my hoodie. I'm going away for the night tonight, just for one night. Damn, so I'm looking forward to that. Only not, not too far away. I'm looking forward to just chilling and, yeah, just chilling. Out Becky and Jones it. on the go. What I've been, what I've been telling you guys, bro. She been on the go. A nice evening, but I am just making my cup of tea. Okay, let's see how long I've you got keep that. Foil out ready to Let, let's see how long you keep that that little uh, little tea bag in there. Go ahead. In because uh -huh. I need to literally go as soon. Okay, as let's see that. Yep, yep, yep. I didn't yep. realize how long they took. I thought it was like a five minute job, but no. <laughs> but I hope everybody's okay today. You putting the milk in there with the tea bag? Kind of, kind of crazy, but go ahead. Stay. Okay, no, I'm no. glad like the rain and everything stopped. Record time, still, bro. Yep, get the tea bag out of there. We don't need the tea bag. Why do we need that? Okay, stirring around, not too bad. Sunny. Right, okay. Oh, then. I think she took the tea bag out when she was stirring it. Whatever, man. You know, it's just whatever. She don't drink. I mean, it's basically just water at that point. Milky water tea. They are done. Oh my gosh, I did not expect them to look like this. You didn't expect them to look like croissants? How many calories is each one of these, by the way? Somebody let me know. Bro, croissants? Hefty. I know croissants is hefty. Now, you putting in Nutella in that shit, too? Man, that shit's gonna be... That shit's gonna be heavy. It looks so good. And I think two is too many, so I'm gonna leave one here. Just two is too many. But I've already got my bag on, and I need to go. So, let's have a little taste test, and then I need to go. So, here it is. Big as I fuck. I can't wait to... BBC okay. size. Look at the Nutella inside. Let's Where? Let's taste. Oh, hot. Mmm. But I love you all. I hope you all have a great day. Love you too, love you too, love you too, love you too, love you too. Bye. This is what Becky Jones gobble and swallows in a day in Barry Island. We've brought it to Atlantic Calf this morning. And you were a... Dry ass burger, bro. Dry burger, man. Even got the gristle from the fun, from the, the pan they cooked this shit on or the stove, whatever that shit was, man. You know she's having a burger nipple for breakfast. She's gone for Tommy K. What's your sauce of choice? Saucy. You can't Ooh. beat an Atlantic calf. The cheeseburgers are to die for. But Becky Ooh. don't like eating stringy cheese. She prefers to wipe it over her bare body. Leo Whoa! Whoa! Oh, Corey, calm down. Calm down, wiping stringy cheese across your bare body. You might be saying some things I like. Went for a tuna jacket. Four, fishy. Charlie went for an extra cheesy cheeseburger. Ooh. Grab your coat, Charlie, you've cheese pulled. Damn. After Atlantic Calf, you already know where we're going next. Get some ice cream, of course. Obviously, you gotta get the ice cream. Freeze Island. Becky went for a custard slice ice cream. I think she would have rather the McFleur or a fruit bag. Probably the fruit bag. For our dinner tonight, we've gone for chippy tea. Becky tried to. Oh my god, guys. I love the chippy tea. 
It's my favorite. Me and Lee are gonna eat it again after Becky Jones gets a burger. We first have a Savile and Russell Wall. She weren't a fan of the Savvy, but she loved the Russell Wall. She said it was amazing, guys. She also had a potato fritter, mushy peas, large sausage and batter, Damn. chips and curry sauce. Damn. I think that's a 10 out of 10 chippy order. Considering we've only eaten two meals today, it's nighttime and we're starving. We've been such skinny legends today. So we treated ourselves to some snacks. Becky went for what tits because she loved Ooh, who that girl right there, bro? Let me smile. Let me find fingers. out. Bye, everyone. Good shit. You know what, Corey? You got that. You a good ass dude for that, bro. I, I fuck with Corey a lot. I think Corey's great. I think he's beautiful. I think he's a great looking man. I mean, look at this. Look at this guy. Look at this fucking guy. <gasps> Just my type. Just my type. If I was gay. If I was gay. Obviously, I'm not gay. I would never per. Oh, I do actually like that he's got a little name on his thing, too. Corey. You see that on the door? Corey. Corey. I like Corey. I do. Corey's my favorite. He's my favorite out of everybody, bro. At first, I really liked Becky, but then it grew on me. I like Corey. Corey is my favorite. A lot of people might say I was obsessed with some other people. I'm obsessed with Corey. I love him. He's great. He's beautiful. He's awesome. I like his facial hair, even though he shaves down here for some reason. I don't know why you do that. Why you do that, Corey? It makes your neck look really long. You don't need to do that. Just shave like right here. Like stop right here and just leave everything above that. And then there you go. Um, I don't know if you can unite the mustache with the rest of the beard, but that might be better for you. Um, do like the hairline, do like the hair, do like the skin. He looks good. He smells good. Becky Jones as well. I think she's amazing. Oh my God, guys. Becky Jones is amazing. She's so awesome. Rubbing cheese across her body is my favorite, especially when I dip it in the roll. Anyway, guys. ASMR knuckle cracking. Ooh. That was actually kind of... Ooh. Dude, one more? Okay, that's good. That's good, right? Hold on. Oh, no. Okay, anyway. We're gonna end the video here. Uh, if you liked today's video, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. I just noticed also, there's no door handle on this door. What the fuck is that? How are you gonna get out if the door closes? Anyway, uh, if you enjoyed today's video and you watched it to the end, uh, and you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in Rowo, or however you pronounce that, Rowo, because we love Rowos here, and they're amazing. Uh, it's always great when we have one word that's roll, which is one syllable, and then we divide it up into two. I love that, how there is just one word and, you know, two, two syllables somehow appear out of nowhere. Beautiful. Love it. That's amazing. I love Rowos. Anyway, guys, I love you too. <laughs> I really love you. Thank you for taking your time today to watch this video, to ingest it with your eyes. I love your skincare routine, by the way. It's been very, very flavorful. You've been glowing recently. You've been looking like a straight star or like the spoon that you put in the electrical outlet that one time. Bright, shiny, beautiful, amazing, just absolutely majestic. Someone like you should be celebrated on a daily basis. And I'm here to celebrate you on a daily basis. Make sure you guys join in in this live streams that we do here too, almost every day. Um, 6 p.m. EST. Appreciate everybody here watching this video. Um, if you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.